Today in GTRP, I'll play a detective that's been tasked with solving a series of murders in Roxwood County. Little do the police know I'll be the one committing the murders. The goal is to kill as many people as possible without being caught by the cops within 72 hours and escape the island. If you end up enjoying today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you want to join my videos just like this one, join my Discord, the link is in the description box below. But without further ado, enjoy the video. Hold on, you're under on the car, I'm seeing you're in your Oxford. I don't know what you just said to me, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Bad with accents, sir. Me, we do all this stuff for 20 years, and me even forgot me accent. Wait, is this what I come to expect on this island? Everybody talks like that? Oh, uh, no, I believe it is just me. Okay, good. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to solve any of these murders, you know? Uh, we be getting close to land now, laddie. Here it is, Roxwood. Yo, thank you, Captain! You have yourself a wonderful day! I'm not mistaken, a little friend of mine should be able to meet me at the, uh, at the docks. I hope he's already waiting for me. I see a police cruiser on the left. I'm not sure if that could be my friend. Oh, there he is. Hey, get in, man. Get in, get in. Wait, is this you? Yeah, man. How, how, how are you? How are you, man? I haven't seen you in ages. Yo, I'm doing good. I hardly recognized you, you know? Yeah, you gotta shave, you know. I remember you <laughs> had luscious hair back in Liberty City. Yes, man. I miss my hair, man. It is a shame. So, what have you gotten yourself into, huh? I killed these two guys with a, uh, a wrench. They will have wrench. And uh, so I had to shave my hair to get out of it. Wait, are the cops on to you? What's going on? Um, I don't know, really. Okay. Uh, I don't know, really. All right, listen, listen. I'll just continue, all right? Don't worry. I'll, I'll take over your work. I'll make you proud, whatever. I'll try to be a good imitator. Okay. Uh, good luck, I guess. Uh, you want to be dropped off somewhere? Or? Yeah, take me to the PD, all right? Okay. Believe it or not, I'm meant to be the one investigating these murders. Well, uh, good luck. Yo, I appreciate this. I'll be seeing you around, hopefully, you know? Yeah, see you too, see you too. Yeah, stay safe, my friend. Don't get caught. You don't have to worry about me. How you doing? Are you, are you the detective? Yeah, I'm the detective you guys wanted from uh, Liberty City. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Should we take it inside, or are we just going to stand out here? Yeah, let's go someplace warm. Yeah, it's, it's a bit nice cold. Warm here. It's cold. Yeah, it's bloody chilly on this island, man. I tell you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. My balls nearly fell off coming over here. Yeah, oh, dude. Issue, right? Now watch out, man. I have to be careful, because if I place my balls on the radiator, they might, like, you know, burn without me realizing, you know? Yeah, the whole yeah, police yeah, station yeah, yeah. on please, fire. Please don't do that. Yeah, I'll try not to. All right, so what can you tell me about those murders? They happened in just a few, in the, in a week, like, only a week apart. That's a crazy yeah. thing. Yeah, but that Bill guy, he was a local drunk around the city. I saw him a few times, had to tell him to not drink out in the open. Other than that, he didn't cause any trouble. Okay. And the other guy, guy, Bill, he was an owner of um, the Polito Rock RV part place. I don't know yeah, the exact yeah, name of it, the company, but um, he would just sell RV parts and some RVs that he had. I actually bought one of them from him. Okay. Nice guy, nice guy. Sadly, he died. Other than that, we need to, we're trying to still trying to crack, we're trying to crack the case. Yeah, you see all this stuff we have on the billboard and everything. Yeah, I mean, hopefully I'll be able to step in and assist you guys. Uh, I'll probably have to go around town, ask some questions to the lovely folks. That'll be good. You can go undercover. You know, you're the detective. You gotta you ask some important to go questions. Undercover. You know what I mean. Listen, I know how to get my hands dirty, okay? I was wiping all people's right. asses in the office in Liberty City. That's why I'm here. I'll be back, Tom. Write the promotion. All right, all right. You need anything else? Um, do you know where I can purchase a car? Because I will need a vehicle to get around. Unless purchase you've got a like a hunk of junk somewhere. Uh, I think we have some stored in the back. Okay, yeah, the impound lot. I'll help myself. Yeah, the impound lot. That's fine, yeah, go ahead. I appreciate that. You have a wonderful no day, problem, okay? No I'll keep in touch. Ah, uh, you too, you too. Alright, let's see what we've got outside. Alright, we got a rust bucket. I like it. I mean, not much of a choice, to be completely honest with you, so I guess we're gonna go with this. I reckon we go around, start exploring this place a little bit, see what's up, interview some of the locals to kind of like, you know, throw them off my scent, and we'll see. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Can I help you, monsieur? I don't know, can you? I am French journalist, tasked here to, to, uh, to search and investigate about uh, some vanishing happening in this town. No, some no, vanishing. Are you talking about the two murders that happened recently? We oui, exactly. Okay, okay. So you're doing like freelance, basically. Yes, I've been sent by my uh, by my uh, company back okay. in France in headquarters, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to gather some ad evidence. Have you uh, got any information that you came across that might be useful? Because you know I'm here to investigate those murders as well. Uh, I'm uh, excuse me, Monsieur. Uh, who am I talking to? If you don't mind. Detective Vad, I just came here from Liberty City to investigate these murders. 
you know, official business and all that. I gotta, I gotta tell you, uh, detective, um, uh, your work is very sensitive. I remain even this city, there is many junkies like this gentleman. I give him money, but he's still begging. Oh, he's still begging? I better get going then, because yes. I hate Jakey's, honestly. Yeah. Yo, can oh, I help sir. you, sir? Oh, oh spur change? Yeah, I junkies. think I saw some I coins guess. on the corner I of the road. Give you money. Oh, really? Give you yeah, money. yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, it was. It almost thank looked like you, a pot sir. of gold. Oh, really? Yeah, now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I hope you get rich and famous, can okay? I, can I sell you a snowball? No, thank you. I've got plenty of snow. So your snowball. Jesus Christ. He's a hustler. I'm not gonna lie. Not a big fan of that fringe journalist sniffing around. He could be on to me potentially if I do my first murder. So he could be our prime target. Right, he's driving around in an SUV. So we just need to keep a lookout for him. <laughs> what happened to all these chairs? Looks like a tornado came by. How you doing? Hello, sir. Welcome to Bob's Coffee Shop. Wait, hold on. Bob's Thank Coffee you. Shop? Not the Bob that was murdered, was it? Uh, no, I'm the other Bob. Also, you might want to clean up out there because it uh, looks like a tornado came around and like knocked over all your chairs. Yeah, uh, so what I have to say about this is uh, very interesting. However, I can do nothing about it. All right, looks like we've got another Bob. So taking him out could go with the theme of just killing anybody that names begins with a B. Oh no, Sorry. you again. What's up? Would you like to buy a snowball? All right, how much for the $5. snowball? Five dollars for a snowball? Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's a special type of snowball. It doesn't melt. Yeah, but you're taking the piss, right? No, it doesn't melt. How do you know it's not going to melt? Have you tested it before? Yeah. All right, where's the evidence? Listen, man, I haven't eaten for three days. Can you just buy something from me, please? Okay, listen, buddy, all right? I'll give you some money, and then I want you to go into that store and get yourself something nice and hot to eat, all right? All right, thank you, sir. Here, have free snowballs. Okay, just please don't chuck it at my car, okay? Just had that thing cleaned. You have a good day, sir. Oh, they're already melting on my crotch. I've been bamboozled already. Sir, I gave it a ticket. You're going to have to take it up in court. Sorry, but you shouldn't have done that in the beginning. Corrupt cops, fuck America. Yo, is everything okay, officer? Oh, he's parked on the wrong side of the road. He parked in a taxi zone. Are you kidding me? And look what he's doing. I am definitely not guilty of that myself. Definitely, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, I mean, look at you. You're stopping traffic. What's wrong with you? Yes, sir. I'm gonna issue oh, wait, you what? a ticket in a second. Look at that. Look at that hold up. Two cars that could have been Whoa. an emergency. They can, they, nah, nah, they can go around me. Have you found anything? Any, any, uh, any evidence? Any news on anything? Nothing really, you know. Nothing. The townsfolk are uh, a little bit weird. They don't want to talk to me. Yeah, no. A few of them are weird. Yes, sir, they are. Yeah, I think we need to go change, get into a different outfit, and maybe lure the French guy. So we already know he ran into trouble with the cops. So maybe I can use that as kind of like leverage to talk to him? But we'll see. He's just going into the RV park, which is where I think Bob was murdered. Actually, I don't know where Bob was murdered. I just know he died there. Or like, he owned the place. Ooh, there's a car sale over here. Let's go and change my other outfit. Let's put on a wig and everything, and hopefully nobody is going to recognize me. We've changed the outfit. The wig is on. Let's just get a car and let's start moving. We gotta find the French guy. I'm thinking we can just take this car. Hopefully it's not locked. Fuck. All right, we're good. Oh, is that his car? Ooh, I see the SUV. What the hell is going on there? I'm just gonna pull over here and just maybe wait it out for now. Okay, he's getting his vehicle. We can follow him. See which way he's gonna go. Is that the forensics vehicle as well? Bro, he just ran a red light as well. I gotta follow him. <laughs> he's got some questionable driving. Yeah, he might be heading back to Roxwood. Yeah, I'm gonna just stay on him. <laughs> he's just flashing the police, man. Bro, he's gonna get arrested before I can do anything to him. Hey, French guy. Whoa. Pull over on the right. Pull over on the right. Uh got information about the murders. Pull over on the right. Are you the French investigator? Yes, journalist, to be exact. Uh, listen, I got some information I can give you on the murders, if you're interested. Yes, go ahead. First name? I, I need name. Name is Bill. Bill what? Nanya. Nanya? Okay. Yeah, none of your business for now. Oh, okay, yeah. Listen, do you know where the gas station is? Postal 4009. 4009, okay. Meet me there in half an hour. Make sure you're not followed, okay? 
Okay. Okay, what are the cops doing here? Whoops. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna follow me directly to the gas station. I can probably take him out to the forest and then do the deed. Oh, there's a car coming down. That's not him. Bro, the forensics team decides to show up as well. Are you kidding me? I hear a lot of sirens. Oh, they're going after the criminals! <laughs> <laughs> well, why did the criminals come here? Am I part of like a drug bust or something? That could be the most unfortunate timing. Okay, let's leave. I'm not staying here. I mean, the cops are distracted. This is the perfect opportunity. But where's the French guy? Hey, man, are you the mechanic? Yeah, I'm the mechanic, man. Yeah, listen, I've got some issues with my vehicle. Right. You don't mind helping me out? There's actually oh, a yeah. rental that I managed to get. My vehicle just broke oh, okay. up the hill from here. Are you doing like mobile work? Mobile work, you mean uh, fixing your car? Yeah, like on the spot there, because like I yeah, can't yeah, really get yeah. it down the hill. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, yeah, I don't know what happened exactly. Like I was going up the hill and the engine started like all choking okay. up, you know, started okay, backfiring then. a lot. And I was like, what the hell is going on? All right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What happened to you? Nothing. Okay, it was just over here. What the hell? Bro, where's my car? I was here a minute ago. Master must have been stolen, Dan. Wait, someone towed my car away. I can see tracks on the ground. Oh. Yo, you know anybody has a towing service? No, I, I don't know any towing services. Listen, you're a mechanic. Could you have a look at these tracks for me and, like, you know, figure out what the hell is going on here? Yeah, I'll try. Are they fresh? Hmm. I'm sorry, buddy. What? Ah! Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go now. I feel sorry for the guy. He wasn't even meant to be my first target. We go back. We get changed. Get back into the detective car and start asking some more questions. I think that would be the best course of action. And we still need to find the French guy because he never showed up. All right, I gotta make sure that the cops find the body. So I think I'm just gonna send like an anonymous message online. Okay, let's just tweet a picture. Yo, how you doing, sir? Uh, uh no. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, why? I think they're onto it. They might have seen it already. Might have been picked up by them. Yeah. What are you doing here? I'm the coroner. My office. Oh down here. shoot. Yeah, my office. I had no down idea. Here. So wait a minute. You investigated murders, right? It's the gray hair marshmallow at your service. How was it done? We've still got the we still need the tests and stuff to come back before I can hey, get a threatening me. definite answer. Yo, threatening you with what exactly, huh? He's saying he's gonna oh, shit. Mother no, Russia is gonna rise up and destroy America. Wait, is he one of those like commie types? Come back from the communist. I think so. He yeah, maybe tape his mouth shut or something, okay? We don't need people like that. I'm a bullet Soviet Union will come back. Okay, maybe Soviet Union is gonna come back and like, you know, give you a better voice box. How about that? Detective! Yeah, what's going on? We just got a body report at uh, 4014. What do you mean 4014? Body report. Yeah, they, somebody found a dead body on the street. On the street? Holy shit. Is that yeah, recent sure. or? They, they, we just got the call and we, we just sent our coroner in and we had another one. If you don't mind, I'm just going to jump into your cruiser and we can go together. Sir, this is a crime scene now. This is a crime scene. Yay, Please vacate the area. House. Vacate the area. Okay, okay let us do the work. Good. Detectives here. Where's his body at? It's uh, right there. All right, first of all, where's the body and who called it in? Uh, I'll get the guy who called it in. The body's right here. Yo, who's chucking snowballs? Again? Who's chucking snowballs? I don't know. Someone's chucking snowballs at the crime scene. Hey! 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 Who's chucking those fucking snowballs? It's They're contaminating the crime so scene. Hey! Ow! Oh, oh, shit. I'm fucking erase his ass. I'm doing it myself. Wait, so you came across the body, correct? Um, yes, sir. I was just like... Uh, getting into the road, I saw that guy laying on the ground. I didn't see any car leaving. Wait, so hold on. You're trying to tell me you've seen the body all the way from the road? No, just like from here. From over here. You see that uh, SUV? Yeah, yeah. Part? Yeah, over there. What are you doing in this part of town anyway? I'm just cruising, sir. I own the supermarket at... Uh, I own a supermarket in this town, sir. Okay, so but what are you doing here exactly? Just cruising around. Cruising around in the middle of the night, potentially? No, sir, it was dead. So you decided to park up on this roundabout over here. You looked over into this, like, empty patch of land with no, like, points of interest in your way. And uh, you basically decided to be like, hey, I see something there. You investigate, you find a body. 
And that's when you call us in? Yes, sir. Uh, sure, Venom, could you take this guy to the PD for further questioning? Uh, follow me to my car. Follow me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, what's going on? There's a there's a CCTV camera up there. I don't have the authority to check that because I only really deal specifically with the body. Shit. You think you could head, you know, to the homeowner and see if we can get that? Yeah, I can car. investigate that for sure. If you're done with the body, I can, uh, I can pack it up and get some examinations on it. Yeah, if you don't mind doing that, that would be fantastic. Right. Here's my house. W w what happened? I need to talk to you, mister. Come over here. Okay, okay so uh, I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. So this is your property, is that correct? Yeah, positive. Yeah, do you mind if I just do like a quick sweep of your garden? Believe it or not, a lot of murderers dump their weapons like near the crime scene. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And I can't help to notice, but you've got CCTV in your house? It should be on my laptop. Okay, could you um upload it to like a floppy disk or something? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Would you able to do that for me right now? Yeah, of course. I did not realize there's a CCTV camera right there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, here's the material. I appreciate that. I'll be taking this. Do we got other questions or something? I think that's going to be all. That's the only material you've, uh, you've got. Is that correct? Yeah, that's the material the whole day. Okay, I appreciate that. Listen, if we've got any more questions, we'll stop by. But for now, stay safe out there, okay? Yeah, you too, man. <laughs> I did not expect there to be a CCTV camera. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah, let me scratch them a little bit. Hopefully the computers aren't going to read them. It's the French guy. He's still sniffing around. Yeah, they're not reading properly. That's good. Those are the only copies that he had as well. So all the evidence, in theory, should be gone. Shit, I've got blood on my hands. Oh, I need to go wash my hands somehow. Oh, shoot. And he's in the break room as well. Hey, you tried those uh, coffee down at the coffee shop, uh, 412? Oh, I'm about to stop by, actually. Yeah, I need my caffeine intake. Yeah, I think yeah, someone was looking good, for a police officer, if you want to, like, you know. Well, they're in an interview right now. I'm oh, okay. Sure. Got that. Got that. I, I would order the uh, double spice caramel latte if I were you. Really good. Okay, I'll make a note of that because I'll probably forget. Hands are clean. <laughs> Holy <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> that was such You're amateur not... work on my part. Hey, mister, can I ask you a few questions, if you don't mind? Wait, wait, there is someone approaching me. Yes, yes. Yo, you're the investigator, is that correct? Journalist. Journalist, yeah. yeah. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, so I just wanted to ask you a few questions, because I've noticed you've been around uh, some of the crime scenes, uh, you know, just kind of, like, investigating them and whatnot. I do have to investigate, like, you know, some of the pictures that you've been taking, just in case we might have missed something ourselves, you know, that could be useful for, uh, you know investigating the recent murders i was approached by someone uh -huh. when i was uh, coming here he said his name is bill okay bill and he told me to meet at the at the gas station in uh postal uh 4009 uh, and when i met them he actually tried to kill me what do you mean he tried to kill you what happened i mean i was at the police station there is no one to file a complaint i think he is a killer he was he was wearing a coat uh -huh. he, he tell me he tell me that that I know too much information and investigating behind him. He grabbed the machete and was running after me. I was lost in the woods. So you said all that happened next to the gas station, correct? All that happened, yeah. There is some small wood uh, next to the gas station between 4009 and 4017 in the big villa. Do you mind coming with me showing where that exactly happened? Yes, yes. Do you have picture of anything that happened? I might actually have some picture. Okay, see if you can pull them up. All right, we're going to try mm -hmm. to kind of like backtrack your steps that you've taken, all right? Maybe that's going to yeah, lead okay. us to the murder and what was going on exactly. Okay, um, so which way now, mister? Which way did you go? Okay, okay, so basically we parked our car in this small alleyway. And then uh, he was started, he was like, tell me, wait, I have to grab a picture to show me. Okay. And pulled out a machete. I was running up that hill, up that hill. I was running toward that villa until I could not see them, and, and then 30 minutes later, he killed someone in that area. Have you taken any pictures here at all that would help with the investigation? Okay, I'm gonna check. Give me a second. Let me open my bag. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, listen up. You don't move, all right? Oh, 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 Come over oh. here. Come over here. Come over here. Hey, man, do you recognize the voice? Holy shit. <laughs> all right, keep it down. I need to know who was chasing what? you. No, 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 stupid. I have family. I have family. I have family. Because that certainly wasn't me. I think there might be an imposter among us. Then what? Then what? Why the fuck you? <gasps> I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, no. <laughs> You've seen too much. Rest well, my friend. 
bro. Who's chasing him? That's why I don't understand. Okay, we gotta leave because like I didn't even have time to change, but this is the only opportunity I had to kill this guy to make sure he's not sniffing around anymore. Looks like we got lucky. The blizzard is setting in, so his body is gonna be harder to find. I heard somebody getting in the car, but that's fine. They didn't see me. Let's get in. Let's drive off. Okay, we've got another guy down. I think the next target has to be Bill or Bob. I forgot. A lot of bees. Oh, shoot. Sorry, mister. Okay, this is a pretty bad storm. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go back to the police station. I can see if maybe they were asking some people questions. Detective dude. What's going on? Uh, this guy says he thinks he knows he's a murderer. What, you do? All right, we're gonna take yeah, you inside yeah, yeah. for questioning. Yeah, just uh, have a seat for me or just like make yourself comfortable, okay? So uh, you said that you knew or you think you know think, who committed yeah, the murders. Okay, so I want you to give me as much information as possible. Okay, we're gonna use that as a distraction. There was this guy, you know, in this uh, red college jacket. You know who I mean? Um, not exactly. Describe him to me. He's got a beanie on and drives a red car. He said to me, the next one is you, no? The next, the next body. He told you that you're the next body? Yeah, yeah. Was he in a car by any chance? Did you see like a vehicle, you know? Yeah, yeah. He said in front of it. It was like a red, red, uh, red limo okay. with a spoiler. And did you do anything to this man? Does he have a grudge against you? Like anything that like potentially could be like, you know, a motive? I don't know. I, I said to him that he uh, should leave my property because he was there for no reason. Um, do you need protective custody? Because we can provide that to you. Yeah, it, uh... it would be nice, yeah. What's going on? 4017, we just got a report. Dead body, it seems it's gonna be like Hold that. On, maybe let's take it outside, French let's not guy. talk in front of him, okay? Currently 4017 is dead body, French dude. Okay, um... I'm not sure if you've seen that French guy at all. I've seen him a bunch of times, a journalist. I've talked to him not too long ago. Wait, hold on, hold on, who called it in this time? Uh, we are not sure, the uh, coroner and the, and the officer Spike just arrived on scene. Okay, if so we need to, to make radio. our way there, because listen, I'm thinking, yeah. whoever called it in saw him at the previous crime scene. That's my first hunch. Yeah, so I'm thinking he maybe was asking too many questions and that person could have basically targeted him. So we need maybe. to recall everybody that was at that crime scene to begin with. I think we should do that. All right, we're going to get the point in. Okay. How are you doing, gentlemen? Good day. Jeez, can you turn them lights off? I can't see Jeez, yeah, I'm getting like an epileptic Yo, attack over here. Yo, turn them off. Turn off the lights. Oh, wow. sorry. I got it. Do you think you could take me to the station so I can get my car in a van? Yeah, yeah that's better. Okay. Hurry up. You got through what I found pretty much. Okay, talk to me. This guy looks like his name is, uh, I think it was Oliver Leo. Okay. Well, there's like a muscle car driving around. Um, yeah, it looks like you got stabbed in the chest with a machete. Who found the body? I don't know. We got an anonymous report that it's here. Okay, so nobody was on the crime scene. No. You guys pulled no. up. Not like yeah. last time, where basically there was no witnesses. We showed up, there was like 10 people there. Pretty much, yeah. There was no one here. So, cause of death, you said machete to the chest, yeah, right? Yeah, machete to the chest, I believe. Any evidence on him that might be useful? Uh, well, he had a camera. I found like a CNN tag on him. CNN? So, yeah. Wait, was he French, an actual yeah. journalist then, or? I don't know why they would have such an idiot, but I guess. Yeah, no. yeah. weird. Oh, man. This killer's good. Do we have any leads so far? Well, no. It seems like every time we do get one, it's just proved wrong somehow. Guy keeps okay, here's a hiding, going into the shadows. I mean, yeah, it's what most murderers do, you know. Coward. So, you know. Finish with this. Should I wait? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I think, I think that we're wasn't a yes or no question, sir. <laughs> Jack, okay, we're okay. Done. Yeah, you do that. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll catch a ride with you. To the lab and see what can be done. Okay. Yeah, check for any fingerprints, anything that might be useful. Who knows? Maybe he's going to help us solve the previous murder. Come on, me don't oh, just don't run over the dead body. Don't, oh, don't want God. Another, another crime scene. Yeah, I think the crime scene has been contaminated again. All right, I've got an idea for the next one, which might be kind of fun. All right, for this one, I think we need to get changed again. And I'm thinking we get ourselves a little taxi. Oh, what's going on here? Hey man, uh, I saw you running around. Is everything okay? Um, yeah, everything is okay, man. I'm just. Listen, I just start working. Business isn't so good. Would you do me the honor of being my first customer? Um, yeah, sh sure. I'll give you half price, okay? Uh, all right. 
anywhere specific you'd like to go? Or do you want me to take you on like a scenic route, you know? Yeah, sure, do that. Scenic route, okay. Have you ever heard of the uh, clucking bell? Uh, yeah. Right. So, believe it or not, Polito Bay is known for supplying all the chicken for the clucking bell. Yeah, I know that. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah. Did you know the tallest man-made structure around Polito Bay are those electrical pylons to our right? Did you know that? Oh. No, I did not know that. Well, there you go. Boom. Did so, you know the wildlife around Polito Bay is uh, fairly dangerous? We've got bears, cougars, yetis, slendermen. All types of creatures. Sl what? Slenderman? Did you know that? Uh, I didn't. I've there you go. Boom. You see that scar on my cheek? Uh, yeah. That's from fighting a cougar. Oh, you, did you win the fights? Well, I'm here to tell the tale. So I think I did. A very. This is the uh, the area where they do the loading and offloading of uh, all the cargo that comes into the clocking bell. Yeah. This is the uh, customer parking lot. They sometimes even host events over here, believe it or not. Oh yeah. Believe it or not, in 1991, Abba actually played on that stage. Oh. 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't head. see that. I didn't see that. Let me just here. swing around because this is kind of silly. All right, listen up. Oh, oh. Okay, you're gonna step out of the vehicle. Oh, okay, okay. Nice and cool. easy for me. Is your name any chance like start with like a B? Uh, no. Nah, you're making this difficult, okay? I thought I was gonna do like something cool, like killing three Bs in a row. Wait, you're a... Yeah, I'm the guy, okay? You might have heard about me, a few killings around the town of Roxwood the last few days. Yeah. I'm sorry, you know how this goes, right? You know how this goes. I do apologize. It's nothing personal. I would have preferred if you were called like Bill Bob or like Barley or something. Oh, thank you for being my first customer as well. First and the last. <gasps> that was a police car. He's not turning, is he? Hey, excuse me, uh, that's not your car out there, is it? A gray SUV? It is. Yeah, it's getting towed. What the? Oh, no. Yo, mister, can I have another coffee? This was another lovely. Another coffee? Yeah, if you don't mind. Sure thing. Is your name really Bob? It is. Like, actually Bob? Yes. Like the Bob that got murdered? I guess. That's crazy to me. It is. A lot of people name Bob in this town. Would you like to go for a ride somewhere? Yeah, I just gotta ask my boss. Your boss? Who's your boss? He was here like a minute ago. Thank you, like I said. Next one is on me. I'll be waiting outside if you need a ride. Yo, taxi guy. Where do you want to go? Could you take me to 24-7? 24-7? Yeah, no problem, man. Jump in. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. The closest 24-7 is just up the hill, correct? Yes, it is. You want me to wait for you outside? You know, if it's not a problem. Yeah, of course not. I mean, you're not getting charged for this ride anyway, so you should be fine. Have you ever been to the mansion that's being built up the hill? I think, like, my friend told me about it. Want to see it? Sure. So how was business? Pretty shit. That's why I'm basically offering up free rides. Nobody wants to have a taxi around these parts. Everyone owns oh. a car. Yeah, I think this is it. It's still under construction, so it doesn't look that appealing. Ooh, it's pretty nice. Want to break in? Break in? Yeah. Not really sure about that. I'm pretty sure we can just jump the wall. Hold on, let me just grab my rope. No. Okay, buddy, listen up. I just couldn't pass up this opportunity to be completely honest with you. Bill and two Mister. bobs? The triple B? The triple threat? Mr. Please. May reconsider this, please? Um, unless you know somebody else that's also called Bill or Bob. I don't. Well, I guess we're gonna have a little bit of a problem in that case. Okay, listen up. I'll, uh, I'll cut your deal, all right? Go on. If you turn around and pick a okay. number between 1 and 10. Not yet, because I haven't decided yet. So we're going to do a countdown. Okay. And when it reaches 0, we got to say a number. If we say okay. the same thing between 1 and 10, I'll let you live. All right, okay. got to act fast. All right. 3, 2, 1, go. 5. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Guess it's your unlucky day, buddy. Wait. Bill, Bob, Bob. It would have been nicer with three Bobs, honestly. These murders are going to be called the B murders. Plus the French guy and the random, like, construction worker. But it is what it is. All right, let's post these pictures. 
Alright, the pictures have been posted. Now let's just get out of here. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, shoot. Uh, why is this guy doing a random U-turn? Oh, he could be heading towards the mansion. Let's burn this car as well. Uh, let's destroy this car because it's probably been seen on CCTV. Alright, there you go. Let's grab a different vehicle. This one will be fine. And there it goes. There it goes. Okay, we gotta leave. We gotta leave, like, right now. Alright, five different bodies. I think the cops are gonna show up to the clacking bell. Maybe we can kill them there. Ooh, that would be juicy. That way I can truly become the cop killer. Yeah, let's hunt down the cops. I wonder if they're already here. Let's have a quick look. I don't see any cop cars. None behind me. I think they've went through here. Okay, that would be suspicious. Alright, stop! That was a shot and a half. I am not gonna shots lie. Fired. Shots, fired. shots fired at 3021 behind it. Got a guy pulled out a freaking pistol or some sort of weapon on me. That was a shot. Yeah, check the car. Check the car. Check, check, check the car. Tom, you'll never believe this. What? It's the detective. <laughs> what? <laughs> they probably knew all along, all right, but they just um, went along with it. <laughs> nice shot, dickhead. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I saw the perfect view of that, bro. bro. I did not have a split second to react. I see him, dead. boom, drop dead. Fair Dude, play, fair play. Scared.